This is the worst day of life. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering, what could be so bad? Well, it's bad. But before we get to that, let me recap the last few weeks that has led to this nightmare. This young, handsome and exuberant fellow, aka me, began his ultimate Vietnam road trip from Saigon to Hanoi. So far along the journey, we've escaped the chaos of Ho Chi Minh City, found Jesus in Vung Tao City, devoured some of Vietnam's best street food in Phan Thich, deprotoed Vietnam's best shimai balls, and poo coffee in the lat. Then rode into the beautiful sunset of Nha Chang, aka the Miami of Vietnam, and finally making it into Hue Nhong, Vietnam's most underrated coastal city. This, my friends, is where our story takes place. A day that started with high hopes, that ended in the worst possible way. Enjoy, because I certainly did not. Good morning, Vietnam! Another beautiful day, guys. Today we leave the beautiful coastal city of Hue Nhong, and we head to maybe the most magical place here in all of Vietnam. That is Hoi An. Let's go! Let's go! Can you believe this? A bird just shit on me! It's like a white mark there! What the hell? It's gonna be a long one! Five and a half hours to Hoi An! And I've just been shat on! This has been like the... The least scenic, the least fun drive in Vietnam to date. From Wing Yong to Hoi An. This highway is just filled with freaking trucks. Birds who want to take dumps on you. Yeah. I don't want to be a downer, but this road sucks. Can't wait to get to Hoi An. Woo! Alrighty, I am in dire need of a break. I need to, need to clean this bird poo off. My bloody jacket as well. Supposed to be a really nice cafe here somewhere. Cute little coffee and tea joint here. What do I, what do I order? Hello. Chào chị. Um, một cái cafe đen nha. Dạ có. Mang đi đi. Dạ. À, đái à, con đường. Tell you what, I reckon I'm the first vlogger ever to come through this cafe in this area. The looks you get immediately are a bit strange. Oh. But I'm about an hour out of Wing Yong now and what the? It's been a rough day, guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A little cemetery here, but found these little like what do you call this? This like hay? These some sort of huts? What is this? It's shaped like a pear, a fat ass pear. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure some of you guys will know what the hell this is. There's like four of them here. Yeah. Looks like it might be, there's some sort of ventilation system. They've got a pole in there. Got something to cover it and then it's like tree branches or something. All right, well, it's down the hatch. Ah. All right, guys, we've seemed to be avoiding all the trucks now. The locale. Grab drive! <laughs> this is much better now guys. No trucks around here. Mountains, trees. Now the day gets started. Uh, the drive so far has been quite shocking. As you all well know. But we're sort of in like the centre now. Sort of mainland. And check it out eh. All the forest and stuff, guys. Mountains, trees, peace. It's 
That was a bit, but the views compensate. Fuck. Looks like I have a flat tire, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure it is flat. It looks super like they get fat at the bottom. What the hell? That one looks okay. Oh, so I was scared of running out of petrol, but this is probably even worse. Got a freaking Google map a joint now, I guess. All right, I'm pretty sure it is flat. Yeah, I can feel the bumps at the back. All right, I gotta drive real slow and try and find a freaking mechanic. I'm sort of in the middle of freaking nowhere as well. Today has been a shit day, guys. An absolute mess. Like holding on for dear life. The back freaking tires just like moving everywhere. I'm gonna. Fuck, uh, this does not feel safe at all. Alright, so on my maps it says there's a place to fix my associate joint somewhere here. Right, I'm just going to get in here somehow. Alright, okay, I see him. Is this it? I know, like, go, so say, you know. Yeah. Alright, uh, this is actually it's only three minutes away. I'm lucky I found this joint. I'm fixing up the bikes and stuff. Oh my god. Got three hours left as well. You know the worst thing is, I don't have like no money. I was like, I'll get to Hoi An. We'll, the rate, exchange rates are good. That will change for money, but it is definitely flat. <sighs> Lucky I'm in town and not in like deep, deep rural. Could have been absolutely a, a huge mess. Got super old bikes and tires and stuff here. I don't even know who's working. It must be super busy fixing this lady's bike or something. Yeah, come sir. Yeah. It's got some chickens though. Look, mom. There's old ass parts here as well. Ah. <sighs> This is where it gets worse, guys. Bird poo, flat tire, I can deal with. But at this point in time, waiting for my flat tire to get fixed, I had realized that I had lost my bum bag. All my money, credit cards, important documentation, vanished. So at this point, I retraced my steps with the flat tire, holding on for dear life. Unfortunately, to no avail. This is the worst day of my fucking life. When I put up to the place to get my I fix I realize I forgot my my bum bag somewhere I took it off to like take a leak and stretch my legs and I just forgot about it so these guys are gonna help me out I've got to go to the freaking police station to report it hopefully someone's turned it in ah. so hopefully they can fix this up for me then I can go to the police station try and find everything. Never ever lost anything before, but just took it off. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be honest, I'm hella sad and depressed right now, guys. I've reported to it to a couple of police stations where I think I lost it. I doubt I'm gonna find it. There was like a thousand Australian dollars in there as well, so that's fucking gone. I'm just honestly recording this so I 
I don't know. I guess it's part of my story, I guess. I'm gonna try and get to Da Nang so I can return this bike. Wait up. I'm gonna try and return this bike and get to Hanoi so I can go to the Australian Embassy and order a, a new urgent passport. I think that's what I have to do. I've got no money, I've got no cards, credit cards, so. Hopefully some of the Vietnamese locals can help me out with petrol just to get to Da Nang because I think I can pay for accommodation like booking.com through a online payment so that's okay I just got to get to Da Nang somehow return this bike and then I think I'd have to catch this short cut this trip short and go back home to Australia and get all new cards and stuff so I'll keep you guys updated, but we'll see what's we'll see what's happening. All right, I am well and alive, guys. That was a hell of a day. Over the last year and a half, I've been to 15 countries, some chaotic countries like India and Nepal, and I've never, you know, had done anything so stupid. I've never had such a brain fart. But shit happens when you travel, especially on a bike trip. You sort of lose all senses at times, but at least I guarantee I'll never ever do that again. Now from where we left off in or heading towards Hoi An and Da Nang, it was about three hours and I had no money at this point. So thankfully to the people of Vietnam, they managed to or they were willing to pay for some of my petrol in order to get to Da Nang. And then I managed to return the bike and then I caught a 20 hour bus ride because you can't fly domestically in Vietnam as an international without like uh, identification, documentation, whatever. So it took a 20 hour bus ride, which was sort of like hell, but it is what it is. It was a long day. Got back to Saigon, managed to go to the embassy and organize all the important documentation. So guys, for now, this greatest Vietnam bike trip ever has been put on hold, but you best believe I will be coming back to where we left off, where we left off and finishing off this series because it has been the best adventure I've been on so far in all of my travels. So that is to come. Please wait out.